Percentiles. A percentile is a point on a scale at and below which a specific percentage of cases in a data set falls. So you're saying it's a point on a scale. Let's say, let's give a scale. Let's give a scale. The scale. So we are saying it's a point on a scale at and below which a specific percentage falls of cases. So if your point is here, so it means you are including this point and all those below it. See, all this point will be included. So these ones will become clear as we solve. The following question: A percentile rate indicates the percentage of cases that lie at or below a specific point on the scale on which the data we measure. The median is also known as a 50th percentile. Is a value that divides a distribution into two halves. So a median is just like dividing the data into two equal parts, like 50% on the right, 50% on the left. So that's how it is. So let's move on to the next slide. Percentile rank is calculated the following. Is percentage below, this is percentage frequency below, plus this uh, open bracket, school minus value lower limit times percentage interval percentage divided by class interval width. So this is the formula of determining it. So example, determine the percentile range for the value of 65 in a class interval and a percentage interval of 59.5 to 41.25 to 78.5 respectively. So now, what information do we have? So we have the class interval. This is the class interval. This is the percentage interval. This is the value. So we are supposed to and the percentile range. So from the previous formula you can see that we from the previous formula you can see that we have we want the percentile range. So we've got the score. We've got the real lower limit from the class interval we have it. We have the percentile rank. The percentage interval percentage we have. Class interval width we have. It's just the percentage below we have. So we can determine it using that formula. So let's go on to the example. So percentile rate is equals percentage below. So you, you can see percentage below. It means because remember these are class intervals. So so what happens is like uh, they will be having different classes. So which means if you are even I say this class maybe on a certain it means where it starts here from fourteen one point two five two forgive me of this handwriting two three uh, use for illustration purposes. So now it means uh, this is the class we are looking at. Uh, let me share the like this. So it means if we are saying percentage below, it means this percentage below is from 41.25 to percentage. This is the percentage below. So we take this number. This is the percentage below. That's how we did it. So, percentage below, then score, remember, is the value we are determining, which is 65, value of 65, then we've got the real lower limit. Remember, the real lower limit is 
This one. This one. From the class interval. 59.5. Uh, so this one okay. Then class interval percentage. So class interval percentage is your subtract on this one. So it's 78.75. Minus 41.25. So this is class interval percentage. So you subtract. So you get class interval percentage. Then we have the class interval width. So class interval width is just subtracting 59.5 uh, from 69.5. So you are supposed to determine when you get 10. So once you plug in all the figures, you can simply evaluate it to get 69. A 61.88 which is to the nearest whole number is 62 so the percent of range is 62 so this is how you do it so these formulas in the exam will be given so you don't need to like to really memorize it but uh, if you do more practice questions it won't be much of a problem so just know this example um, but we shall do more questions of this nature in the exam question. The practice question for percentage shall be covered in the exam prep section. So if you want to practice more about this, make sure you get to the exam prep question. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions concerning this section or you need any further information, call us now on 074-920-9697. Thank you.